Chester on 01244 Go private, go personal. Don't miss the bank holiday sale event at Trade Centre Wales with £2,000 off every single car and 0% finance available. There's over a 1,000 cars in stock at Trade Centre Wales all with £2,000 off and 0% finance available. There's £2,000 of this 2010 Fiesta. Was 5999 sale price just 3999 I need your loving. At number 19, Alison began a career as a backing singer for artists including Melbourne Moore, the great Bobby Brown and Curtis Hairston. Number 18, something strange happened in the supermarket during this day. Somebody tapped me on the shoulder and
to the overall success, aren't they? Yeah, they are. It's like, um, I think the majority of the players have been a big squad this year, so if a uh, few injuries hit us, then it's uh, going to be a, like a struggle, and we'll have to just all get together and like work hard for the season. Not bad at all. And uh, nine in 49, I think it was for Everton too. Although many of those were as a substitute, so uh, he can score. But you know, he needs to. He needs to find a club where it can work. For. Hopefully, it'll be Town over the season. Dave, Alan So what the Sun has done is. I like that arrive at their club history of attempts to reform the press and, and, and end the sort of free-for-all that there is at the moment is that they are engaged in a campaign regulator we're talking about giving essentially self-regulation some teeth so that people can't walk away and we don't have a repeat of the egregious I, I, I understand where you are coming on uh, coming from with hacked off and clearly you're no friend to the Murdoch Empire the Sun being part of that Empire still but what about the issue of we had somebody who tweeted in uh, I guess in look you know, He's coming out of my tax dollars. I want to know if that is certainly true. Well, firstly, in terms of the Murdoch Press, I mean, they are an extremely powerful corporation, and for years, politicians, of at least most parties, were just craving to them, and no Small groups like us standing up to them and generally objecting to their policies, and I think that's, that's only moving towards having a fair situation. On the question of public interest, yeah. But I think most commentators recognise that the right to privacy is lost where there is a genuine public interest. Now, it has been claimed that there's a public interest here because of the Prince's security. If he's going to make a mark in Port Vale, he's got to end up as a stri in a striking role for me. I feel as though um, wide players could sometimes be out of the game for 20 minutes at a time, you know, and uh, particularly on Tuesday, I, I just compared the two wingers, Mario. But he plays it out confidently to I'm stuck in their own half. They certainly aren't showing any urgency to get back into this game. I think they know it's lost. I'm not sure they can. There's a plan to do this and everybody was in great agreement. I'm sure they're just getting married because they love one another. An unmissable interview with Samantha Fox. Mike Shaft. Tomorrow morning from 6. BBC Radio Manchester. Manchester Sports. On BBC Radio. Went to one off us four. Obviously this season, being 2 0 up against Sheffield Wednesday, we still went on and won the game, but it wasn't to be. And then going to Bolton, it's obviously another hard game and stuff. And I think our performance in the first half maybe merited something from the game, but. Fantastic ball for Graham's goal, and it's Swansea 3, West Ham 0. And on comes Luke Moore. Who hasn't scored since he could argue Swansea's best victory of last season that 1-0 success against Manchester City and he's going over to play wide left that'll be interesting he's a striker by trade of course as we all know but, but, uh,
today. Someone else has been given that uh, that role. Not Rashinia, not anyone like the you know these people. Yeah. Fans are keep saying, "Where's he? Where's this? Where's this player?" And they don't seem to appear, no matter what happens. But you know, someone's in there today who's got to do the business. If you were him, you know, Ziggis is an expensive player. If they get him off the wage bill, they could get something for half his wages. Uh, provided again, there's a budget there. Does return following injury, which is a big boost for the side. So they'll line up with Tony McMillan in goal, a back four of James Smith, Steve Ackrig, Simon Grand, and Louis Barnes in midfield. Chris Arnold to find a backup keeper for Ryan Young. So I still expect Jack Cudworth to go to Chorley unless that move has broken down this morning. So uh, Telford are unchanged. Uh, Luton, uh, just one word about them. Andre Gray, the former. Dream. Say the way goes trouble down the drain. We've seen the very best of Andy Robinson as well, aren't we? And I think he, he's been showing that form for a few weeks. Yeah, pre-season, to be fair. You know, he, he's needed a good pre-season. Um, he, he had... Oaks is almost ready.